Hey friends, today I'm going to be customizing two basketball purses. One is going to be a handbag and one is going to be a crossbody bag. The reason why I'm doing this is because I got so inspired by Andrea Bargart. She is an amazing basketball purse designer and I just wanted to try this out and see how it goes. But I'm going to be ruining two perfectly good basketballs, so wish me luck. So a few things that you're going to need is a basketball, a zipper, an exacto knife, scissors, belt hole puncher, D-rings with a leather purse, purse handle, cross body belt, a buffer, gorilla glue, metal clothespins, and a pen or a sharpie. I'll link everything down below so you'll be able to find it. First, I'm going to be mapping out where I want to cut the ball. Make sure to use a zipper as a guideline. Then mark the spot with a sharpie on both sides of the ball. Now I'm using my X-Acto knife to poke open a hole to air out the ball. Then I'll be going in with my sturdy scissors to cut across the ball. It's going to be tough to cut through because it is a rubber ball. The zipper I got is jumbo size, so I needed to make the rectangle bigger. Now I'll be using a buffer 100 over 180 to smooth out the ridges. Okay, this was the hardest part for me. I'm going to be using the Gorilla Glue to attach the zipper to the ball. The metal clothespins comes in handy for holding the ball and zipper together. After the zipper is glued and dried, I'll be using the belt hole puncher for the side of the basketball. Once I made the holes, I'll be adding the screw back D-ring so that it'll be able to hold the cross body belt. Alright, everything is coming together. The basketball looks so cool when I'm able to open it. Now I'm going to be adding the accessories. Now working on the second basketball, I'm going to be doing the same technique as I did for the first basketball, except the screw back D-rings will be placed differently. Fun fact, I started playing competitive basketball when I was in third grade, up till I was in college. Basketball was once a huge passion for me. I played at least five times a week in high school, at lunch, and after school. Me and my friends would bus to Chinatown and play at the rec center and challenge anybody. It was so fun. I really do miss those days. I don't play as much anymore, but I still have love for the game. Right now, I'm making sure that the zipper fits on both sides of the ball before I start to glue it down. What's really awesome is that you can turn anything into a purse, actually. You can do this also with a volleyball, a soccer ball, a football, 
Um, what other ball is there? Mm, probably not a tennis ball, but actually, can you make a coin purse out of a tennis ball? Did anyone else also see the final match of Serena Williams? That was definitely a teardropper. She is definitely a GOAT, greatest of all time. Like, I've never seen anyone so passionate like her. And lastly, I'm going to be adding the accessories onto the ball bag and I'm done. I love how the crossbody ball bag came out. It's fun and fashionable to carry around. Definitely would wear this out to a basketball game. Oh look, a tennis ball? How did that get there? Oh, I put it there. <laughs> Glad I tried this out. Can't wait to wear it. Next up, we have this beautiful Nike basketball purse. First off, I already love the design of the ball. The purse handle and chains give it this cool effect. If anyone tries to rob me, I freaking pop their head off with this bag. Don't mess with the bala. <laughs> Anyways, if you made it this far into the video, thank you so much for watching. Hope one of y'all try this out. And if you do, let me know. We'd love to see your creation. Alright, have a great day guys. Bye!